Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up the Jurassic World Ceratosaurus. Isn't this a cool looking dinosaur? She's got nice stripes and uh, dino damage and a lot of action features. Growling action, this is part of the Growlers line. It's an electronic and it also lights up. Let's check out the box for a second. Let's see, chomping jaws and a ferocious fight for survival. It's got some lights right there. And here's some information. And I'm going to go a little bit slowly past here. You can pause it if you need to read it. Let's check out the bottom. Here's the barcode. And some other stuff right there. There's a number. And also look for these other dinosaurs. I have a video on, on this one already. And I have these two coming up soon. Let's see. That's everything on the box, I think. And there's some something inside. So I'm going to cut the box open to get that out. It's probably some instructions. Here we have some scissors. There's a piece of tape right there. And a piece of tape right there. And it should just unfold like most of the others do. Here's what was making that noise. Okay. So I'm starting to get used to these little paper thingies. They're paper ties. You just kind of untwist them like that. If you don't want to mess up the package too much, that just comes out. And this comes out in one piece. With that, And then you can move the box and you can put the box back together later if you want with a little bit of tape. Alright, so here we have the Ceratosaurus. Here's the Jurassic World official logo. Let's take a look at the face. Really nice face. Check out that eye. It's got a little white dot on the orange paint with the black same on that side. Little white highlight. It's got some nice teeth in here. And some more at the bottom. Check out those tiny little teeth. And there we have a tongue. Oh, she's roaring already. Sorry about that. Okay, here's the... Oh, stop roaring! I'll get to that in a minute. Stop. Okay, so there's a little spike on the nose and little spines on the um, spine. They go all the way to the tail. Some nice muscles on the tail and skin folds. Oh, here's a weird little number. Why did they put that there? Why do we need a black painted number on the dinosaur? Here is uh, something else to read. Okay, the tail is a little bit bendy but not really. It's very tough plastic. Let's see, the legs are the same type of plastic. They just barely bend but they don't want to bend. Check out those feet. Uh, kind of hollow on the bottom a little bit. Nice claws. Here we have the arms. They go all the way around. Same with that one. Okay, and yes, it does roar. Okay, so I will show you this later in the dark, but uh, if you hit this dino damage area, you have a nice roar. Okay, and also, let's, let's see, the tail activates the chomping action, and it has a different noise. It seems to work when you push it, let's see, I've pushed it all the way down and it's not making noise yet. It only makes a noise when you let it go. So you could hold the dinosaur like this and hold the tail down with some pressure and you could walk around with the mouth closed and then when you want to roar at something, you can let go of the tail. So here we have the mouth closed. And it's time to roar, just let go of the tail. And then you can bite. You can bite without making any noise. Like, oops, if you don't have your finger on the dino damage. So you can press down on the tail and bite. And you don't make a noise when you bite. And then it makes a noise when you let go. And then, of course, the dino damage area. Okay, 
So that works very well. It, you have to be very careful not to touch this whole area of the dinosaur or it will make that noise. Here's the speaker holes right here. Kind of, they blended it into the rib cage area so it it's not too noticeable but um, I mean they do have to make it open so that you can hear it but it's they could it could look worse I guess but they could also hide it in here all right so here is the battery area it already comes with batteries as you see I just took it out it's brand new and I did not add batteries she's gonna be roaring this whole video I think all right so let's see what else we checked out all this stuff right here, yeah. Uh, I think we looked at everything. What's this? This is a. Uh, oh, this is the um, part where the tail moves. The screw holes, of course, on all the new Jurassic World toys, they have large screw holes. All right, I think that's everything. Let's turn off the lights for a second. Okay. Oh, I, let's see if she stands. My thing is not. My white area is not level. But I will try to get her to stand. Yeah, okay. She can stand up by herself. Yes, both directions. Oh, but not that way because my white plastic is sideways. All right, lights out time. All right, here's a little bit of light. The light on the dinosaur is very bright. Okay, and here goes the other lights, out. Sorry I can't uh, get that sunlight out, but... You can see it's quite bright. I mean, I'm trying to block out all the light here. I've got my hand on the speaker. That's why it sounds bad. Here's the other side. You can kind of see the light through the plastic a little bit. This is the back. I mean the other side. It's the back of the light. You can kind of see it through the mouth. Let's check out the other sound. Now, the other sound doesn't make light though. Let's, just see, if we, let's see if we can do both at the same time. Oh, did I break it? Okay, if you do like that, it doesn't want to go. Huh, pretty cool. Okay, here come the lights. Some of the lights. So, that is a really nice looking toy. I really like the sculpt and uh, the stance and the colors and the lights and the chomping. Very cool. All right. So, all right. That's, that's going to look really good on my dinosaur shelf. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, check out my other videos. I have lots of other dinosaur videos and some videos that are not dinosaurs. Subscribe if you want to see my newest videos. And thanks for watching.